Lindsay here of Ames's Antics. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please do hit that subscribe button to keep up with all of my crafting and DIY and sometimes travel antics because I post a new video every Sunday morning at 9am. So be sure to hit that subscribe to keep up with all of my antics. In this week's video, we are looking at doing another beauty DIY Cast your mind back to a few weeks ago, I made some DIY bath bombs that were Lush inspired and this week I am doing another Lush inspired beauty make in the form of their fresh cleanser Angels on Bare Skin. Now I absolutely love this cleanser, it has really helped my skin over the years and it is nice and gentle with a bit of exfoliant and is soothing and calming to the skin because of the ingredients that are used in it. So I popped onto Lush's website because my stock was running low to find that it is currently unavailable. Now this is no surprise because I know Lush has cut back on a lot of their products that they are making to make sure that their staff are safe and they sort of complying with all the social distancing rules and everything. So it's unavailable, I've had to improvise and had a go at making my own version of it. Now on Google there is a few different other recipes and I've sort of taken inspiration from these and added my own little twist to it, tried to keep it as close to Lush's as I could. Um, so it has turned out fabulous, it looks exactly the same and it works exactly the same. So this is a winner in my book. And with that said, if you do fancy having a go at making your own angels on bare skin, then let's get crafting. So as you can see, this is all I have left of my angels on bare skin made by Lush. So let's have a go at making our own. So to make your own version of the angels on bare skin, you are going to need 25 grams worth of fine ground almonds. You'll also need 20 grams of kaolin clay, I think that's how you pronounce it, kaolin clay. Um, vegetable glycerin which is 15 grams worth, some rose water, lavender essential oil, marigold essential oil and chamomile essential oil, not forgetting some dried lavender buds. You want to start by placing the ground almonds into a large mixing bowl. Now I place the bowl onto the scales directly, setting this to zero and then measuring out the ground almonds, leaving the bowl on the scales and resetting it to zero each time I needed to add a new ingredient. Next up it is time to add in the 20 grams of the kaolin clay. Now when you actually use your angels on bare skin and wet it you'll notice like a white milky substance come from the mixture. Now this is actually the kaolin clay and not the ground almonds as I always thought it was like milk from the almonds. It's not, it's the clay reacting with the water and I didn't realise that until I did a bit of research on making my own angels on bare skin. So fun fact for you. Then it's time to add in the vegetable glycerin to the ground almonds and clay mixture. Now this is 15 grams worth, I did actually have to add in a little bit more later on because it wasn't quite sticking together but start with 15 grams worth and then build up from there if it is not fully combining. Once you've added the vegetable glycerin you want to give it a really good stir together to fully incorporate it. Once the glycerin is mixed in, it is time to add in the rose water. Now you want to do this with a dropper or a pipette um, because it just adds it in a bit more gradually and helps you to combine it a bit better. If you splash it all in, you might ruin the mixture. So just add this in gradually and then give it a little mix in. Next add in some lavender essential oils and I think you want about four to five drops worth of this into the mixture. Now you don't want to overdo it with the oils because you can make your skin a bit sensitive so just start low and build up until you have the right amount. 
Next, add in some marigold or tiger teas or something like that. I don't know how you quite pronounce it. This is what is in the original Angels on Bearskin recipe. So I thought I would have to have a go and apparently it has got some really good properties for your skin, which is why I have included it in my version of Angels on Bearskin. So you want to add in about three drops of this in total. And finally, it is time to add in about three drops of the chamomile essential oils. Now this is really beneficial to the skin as well because it does calm and soothe. So it's really good at helping any irritation that may be on your skin. As you can see, sometimes the essential oils is a little bit stubborn in coming out of the bottle. So just give it a gentle tap to release the oils into the mixture. And once all three essential oils have been included, it is time to give the mixture a bit of a mix. As you can see, it is still quite dry here, so I have had to add a little bit more rose water and then a little bit more glycerin till I get the right consistency. So you want the mixture to start binding together and not being solid, but like coming together like a little bit of a dough. So yes, keep adding a bit of rose water and the glycerin until you get the right consistency. So if you need to add any more of the rose water and glycerin, you want to make sure you're adding it in in small amounts because if you add too much in, you can't remove it. But whereas if you add little bits in, you can gradually build this up to the right consistency. Once you have the right consistency, you then want to roll out some parchment paper or baking paper and sprinkle on a few of the dried lavender buds. Then taking the newly formed mixture, you want to start spooning this over the top of the dried lavender. In the end, I ended up just dumping it out from the bowl, but if you can do it as carefully as possible, then do that. It might still seem a little bit crumbly, but keep going with it because we are going to squish it together and roll it up with the parchment paper. So using the baking paper, you want to fold this over to where the mixture is and gently push it together. This is so your hands aren't actually touching the mixture as such and you can roll it into maybe a more sausage uh, form or a more solid form. If it is still a bit crumbly like mine, you can also knead this together a little bit just to get it into place. It doesn't quite matter because you don't have to keep it in this form, it just helps to squish it together a little bit. Then I just sprinkled over a few more lavender buds just to give it that more lush look to it and squished this in a bit more because I didn't think there was enough lavender buds in the mixture. And finally you want to place it in an airtight container. This is so that the mixture doesn't dry out too much or any moisture gets into it. Now this product doesn't have any preservatives in it so you do need to use it up within a few weeks but the water content is quite low so you should be good to go if you keep it in an airtight container. So here is the comparison, this is the Lush made one, what I had left and then the one that I have just made, the copycat version and I don't think it looks too dissimilar, it's a little bit more crumbly but yeah, I think it's turned out just fab. To use the DIY Angels on Bare Skin, you just want to take a small amount, add a little bit of water until it becomes a bit more pliable, and then you just rub it onto your skin. Now you can use it anywhere on the body, including the face, the arms, the legs, and um, just gently rub it in to have that natural exfoliation from the ground almonds. Once you have had a little bit of a scrub, then you just rinse it off and pat your skin dry. And there you have your own version of Lush's Angels on Bare Skin.
So there you have how to make your own version of Lush's Angels on Bare Skin. I think this has turned out wonderful. It looks exactly like Lush's version and it feels like it on the face when you're using it. It might be slightly more sticky because of the vegetable glycerin, but it still works perfectly nonetheless. Now, I am not saying you should go and bypass all of Lush's products by making your own, but if you are able to replicate some of their products at home, why not give it a go? It's a bit of fun, it's getting creative, and it is saving you slightly a little bit of money because you could be using that money on even more Lush products or treating yourself because self-care is so important at the moment. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a big like. Let me know what you thought of this DIY down in them comments below. And if you have any tips on any other beauty DIYs you think I should have a go at. And click subscribe if you are not already subscribed because there's a new video coming every single week of my crafts, DIYs and sometimes travel. Obviously, there's not much travel at the moment because we are not able to go anywhere. But yes, there's a new video every single week on a Sunday at 9am. Um, so make sure you are subscribed to keep up with my on my antics and check out my blog as well Ames's antics because there's always a ton more information over on there and I will see you in next week's video bye